friends, good morning. It's like, well, we left the house about 7, 7 15. So it should be about almost 8, probably. There's Hubby. He has not been out on his kayak. You okay? In like two years. All right, let me push you off. Uh, uh. <laughs> and he has not balanced the crab pot in that kayak in about two years. So we have a, we have like a 12, I think a, a 12 inch footer. I don't know. I don't know anything about boats, but we have a boat that can have a motor, a little bitty one, but he prefers the kayak because then he can just drop the crab pot just pretty close, not too far. And then he just goes back and forth. Uh, does his little kayaking thing, so he enjoys that better than the heavy boat. All right, ah, there you can see my face. My allergies is like so, so bad, so bad. Like I've been taking two um, Allegra, just because of how bad it is. And yesterday, like in the morning I can do stuff, like I went to the store, I had to go to Trader Joe's and Target. I went to the garden, um, helped out with Miss Mary, and then um, and then by the time I came home, like tidied up a little bit. But by the afternoon, when Hubby got off work, when he wanted to do something, I was just so tired, sinus pressure, headache. It's just so weak, and it's because of the allergies. So. I don't know. I don't know what to do. It's springtime. Oh my gosh, he's far. Hey there, hubby. Oh, can you guys see him? Uh, he brought out his sunglasses and I'm like, there's not even a sun. Why do you need your sunglasses? Now I know. <laughs> like even though there's no sun, it still hurts your eyes. But um, yeah, so I'm just going to sit here, wait for him. He's going to drop that pot. And then we have another crab pot. And then we have like, some chicken that marinated um, like overnight. I don't know, it's just, the way I make my coffee is, I, I'm so used to it that I don't really enjoy Starbucks bought coffee. Like when I pay like a grande size of like what, $4.95 I think it is. It's just so sweet for me. So I have asked them to lessen their, their sugar pump um which is i guess good all right i'm looking at hubby he still has his crab pot <laughs> but how are you friends i mean it's summertime well it is because it's july but it doesn't feel like summer you know with this covid19 it just it just feels like the world is still spinning and things are still happening but yet we're we're in a standstill so right now it's a lot of new cases, uh, Texas, Arizona, Florida. Oh my gosh. All right, when my face is itches, do not touch your face. I have not learned and it's been how many days? 100, over 100 days. I still touch my face. Uh, pretty, oh my gosh. So beautiful. Ooh, the sun's right there. Beautiful. Ah, my face. Ooh. So what have I been doing lately? Well, I just uploaded. Um, this is, I think, probably like a third upload. Third upload of what I'm gonna show you guys. So I have one where Hubby and I went to Flower World. Two, oh gosh, two of uh, something. I forgot what it was, something. And then this one. So I'm just like three vlogs away because I don't like, I try to vlog almost every day, but then I get like little clips and then I don't upload every day because otherwise the channel will just be an, a vlog of every day. And I haven't been doing my Sensi because my Sensi, okay, I ordered something June 22nd. Right now it's July 10th or 11th. Other the 11th or the 10th. I still have not gotten it. I ordered something from Stampin' Up and I've been making cards but I haven't been filming it which I need to because Stampin' Up is my business so I need to I just like I said it's just a standstill no excuse just I gotta sit down and do it 
I am on vacation again. I just don't know about my job if I'm gonna still have it, my full-time regular job because of the economy. Just the pandemic has just really taken a tour on the economy that all these companies are just either um, letting go of people because they need a, a lower um, staff. So it's kind of, it's really sad. I feel so bad for um, like the restaurants, um, especially the restaurants, small businesses where they can't stay afloat. Woo, hubby's coming back. So he dropped it. Let me go sit down and then I'll come chit chat with you guys again. <laughs> All right, there's hubby. <laughs> we had a uh, technical malfunction with the rope. Apparently the way I tied it around was not good the first time. So I did that one. That's the second one. The first one he put over there. So this one he's going to put over there. But I'm loving my... These are like my garden pants from Walmart. Like I think they're like $9. But it's nice to go to the water as well. Because it's Capri's. And I can like easily go in to the water. And then just get a little wet. But that's fine. I saw a fish that just literally jumped out of the water. And went back in. And... I told hubby maybe I should go fishing. I'm more of a water person than a camping person. I don't enjoy camping whatsoever. I don't enjoy camping. Oh. So he's gonna go out there. But in, in the meantime, I'm gonna go collect some shells, see if there's any shells that is pretty to be able to add to my collection. Oh, very pretty. The last time we were here, the the tide was so low, but it was on the other side um, of that building there to where we ride the ferry and the tide was so low. And that's when we went to the parentals. So that was the last time that we were at the water. But it's nice to come into the water like early in the morning and just listen to the waves of the ocean well actually this is not the ocean i think this is puget sound i don't know i'm so confused over here like there's puget sound there's ocean we don't have a river around us uh i think this is the area that connects to the ocean i don't know friends you guys know me yeah, i'm back on the shore and wifey's out there She's out pretty far. She said she's going too far. I guess I gotta pull her in. Uh oh, I'll go grab her. So hubby went out there and just dropped it for like 30 minutes, huh babe? So 30 minutes, we got Dungeonese and then our rock crab. So rock crab you can get even if it's a female. Oh, those are big ones. Yeah. You even have to measure it. Oh, wow. Oh, careful. Yeah, oh poor baby. Oh yeah, that's a huge one, babe. Yeah, out there for what, 30 minutes? Mm. Is it, is it alive? Oh yeah, they were okay. looking at me and they were like, opening their <laughs> mouths up, like staring at me like they wanted to fight me. Oh. Oh, that's not bad. Was it too hard for you to get it? No. No? Yeah, so hubby just pops him out there and then he, goes back and forth with the kayak but look it got pretty busy now I like to come in here like in the early morning when there's nobody here so I said oh let's go ahead and take it out I want to get out of here it's too many people I mean mind you this is our little bubble space but <sighs> oh sorry I gotta help hubby I'm all here filming you should have gotten those Thong things. Whoa, that's a huge one. You need help? Ah. Oh, wait, wait. Ooh. Look at all my plants. I have been getting these plants from Trader Joe's because they're like $5.99. So this is my latest one. I don't know if I showed you guys this one. Um, I want to start like naming them and then um, like if they should be dried out, like how much water I should be putting into them. My Monstera. Um, I I think I filmed a little bit yesterday. I need to repot that 
And then I got this. This is my main, main is it main fern? So I want to start having labels for them. But no. <laughs> look, so we kids just woke up. Oh. And look, hubby put the, put the crabs in the <laughs> That's a big one. The women cool Java no. We were out there for almost an hour, huh, babe? Yeah. Yeah. So we have them out here while I do the, the dishes. I need oh, to clean look, up his, the. His claws kind of shaved off a bit as well. Oh. He's an old guy. So that one's a rock crab? Yeah. And these are dungeons. Yep. That's a no, his barnacle that, on him. Yeah. That's a, that's a dad, that's a mom, that's a baby, that's a. Oh, we, yeah. Um, sister. Sure. <laughs> sister, oh, okay. Oh, they're holding hands. Aww. I think that's a. I think she's um, trying to trick him. No. I think that's a sister. A no. sister. No. Java. We, no. we, we won't label the dinner. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think that's a sister. No, we won't, we won't label the dinner. So, um, we got the trampoline. So, when we got the trampoline, the box had holes in them and it was missing a few screws and a few screws. So, the company um, sent out another pair of screws so that um, these two poles these two black <laughs> can have poles and then hubby bought himself a cover instead of using our very very old one that we use for like dirt and let me show you guys our lunch yeah thanks bud so I made some garlic and I sauteed it with like garlic and um garlic and like sriracha just a little bit of sriracha and uh coconut coconut oil and then i did the same thing for this one and then one actually opened and look at all the the goodness of that crab and we're gonna have it with of course kona um kona beer so this is the star fruit orange and then this is my favorite the big wave of course gotta have crab um rice along with the crabs and then vinegar so if I don't eat it with rice then I eat it with uh, garlic and butter but if I do eat it with rice then it has to be um, garlic and vinegar that's our island way hubby taking me to my first date oh, <laughs> we're going to the dump so let me let me show you guys what we'll be doing so we got like toys like old toys that we can't donate and like blankets and stuff that we're gonna go ahead and take here to the dump along with like stuff that was in the garage and some branches as well okay we are at home depot but right after the dump we got soil whole bunch of soil is this one cubic yard, one cubic yard. so basically one truck is one cubic yard no to self all right, you ready? I'm looking for two succulents. One is the string of pearl and the other one is a jade um, jade plant. And I don't know what a jade plant looks like because I just know that it's the older one that has like like a tree, um, not bark. What do you call that? A trunk? Oh no, poor plant. And it looks like, like green, but uh, the pearl first, which I've never seen the pearl. My mother-in-law gave me the, the pearl. I think these are aloe. They are. Oh, they're cactus. Hi, these are not the varieties I want. Oh, this is an aloe one. Ooh, it's like squishy. It's a jade one. $12.98. Are these also jade? Those are different. Oh, they're prickly. But this one's a jade. I think I'm going to get this one. One of them. Let's see what that one. Oh, that's a different one. These are like the prickly ones. Those ones. All right, so I found me a jade now. All I need to do is find me a string of pearls. All right, so I like looking at the garden section while hubby is looking for other things. But um, hostas are my favorite along with hydrangeas. Look how pretty those hydrangeas are. Especially when they're mixed colors. The lavenders and the blue. Got this one. You got the lavenders, the blue, the pink. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and then more cactus. <gasps> What's this? 
four for ten. Oh, maybe I want these instead. But I don't really want like a one big one. <sighs> Jade. Oh, that's the one I want. Oh, and I really want three, so four for ten. Oh, I should buy that. Okay. I'm gonna look for one more here, and then they have these as well. Ooh. I like these pretty one. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna be choosing my succulents. These. So I have I think it's this one. I have this size but that um tall already and I bought it for like thirty dollars. Um when we got the the chickens, the <laughs> the little chickens. And just curious as how much they are. Tank. Oh, tank. Because then you can put water in them. See? You can put water. This is good for like, um, if you want to make like a pond. So it's already set up for you. And then it has like the water source. Um, I think for mine, I'm just going to use it as a pot. Like a, like a raised pot. Where'd hubby go? Well, there's hubby. I think we got all the stuff we needed. Are these annuals? I don't like to buy annuals. I know they're pretty. They're for show, but I don't. Oh, this these are perennials. I like this one. This color. Not pretty. What is this? Oh. Let's see what the name of this. Is it like a Shasta, like a daisy? What is this? And it's perennial. Oh. It's pretty. I like how the colors are deep. I'm going to go up and ask the kids to help us with the dirt. But look at my little garden here. So these are stuff that I still need to pot. Um, honeysuckle. Uh, this one. This one is lamb's ears. But... God. Okay, but pretty much um, I like these the ones here on the edge, but everything else <laughs> except for that edge. So I like it. And then um, these are the gnomes that I got. That um, gnome right there, and then the rabbits. I think I only have one gnome here. The other one is still in the backyard. But I have enough rabbits here for. The family so Danielle claimed that one as her and then Danny Danica and I that's hubby hubby's the gnome and then there's Jonathan so yeah it's coming along really nice okay much better I think it was like um fuzzy so you see the string of pearls I've been looking for more of these um, I've left it outside because I didn't realize how much I really loved it so I want to see if I can separate it out of this and have it into its own clay pot. But I really, really love this. I've been looking. I did find me a jade plant though. This was four for $10. So I bought two of them. I have one over here that is just by itself. And then this is a, is it Echeveria? And then my mother-in-law gave me that one. And then this is the one that I made today. So I have a jade in here. And then another, this is, um... What do you call this one? Brown bean sedum. Hubby gave me this. I think it's an aloe vera. Uh, when I first started working with my full-time job a few years ago, it's still alive, but um, I think I'm kind of losing it, so I wanted to plant it onto soil. Uh, salvage this from the front yard, and then I also bought this today along with this one and this one. So put it into this pot that I got from Costco. So, yeah. Hopefully, um... It'll do really well. I mix, I I just had like regular uh, soil, the organic Costco soil that I had, mixed it with uh, peat moss along with a perlite. So kind of mix it so that it has a nice drainage. Okay. All right, friends. It's been a long day. Thank you guys for always visiting A Simply Simple Life. Mahalo. All right, friends. So yesterday we picked blueberries. I made blueberry pie yesterday or last night and it's all gone so as you guys can see here's my pie dish 
everybody loved it it was gone last night and so what i did was this is how i cleaned it i first cleaned it i kind of soaked it with the salt and water uh, rinsed it again like double or triple rinse and then I laid it out into a baking sheet and then put it into my refrigerator um, so that it dries up before I put it into freezer bag so that when I freeze them it doesn't create crystals um, and then also it doesn't like clump together it stays uh, separated I left this out into the refrigerator though this is about roughly four and a half cups perfect for my um, blueberry uh, pie recipe my go-to blueberry crust uh, store-bought is Trader Joe's. Roughly, I think, $3.29, so fairly affordable. And then it comes with two uh, pie crusts. And so I left this out onto the counter, gosh, maybe three hours, three or four hours. And so this one is ready. But when I have this one, see how this one, when you roll it out, there's like... Um, it's broken and it does tell you to not put it into the microwave but I always do but I only put it into the microwave for about gosh 10 to 12 seconds that's it just to make it because of uh, it having lots of butter just to make it pliable and then it was exactly like this kind of separated kind of squished them together because they're very nice and soft right now after I then put it into the microwave for 12 seconds and then hubby can you give me that rolling pin sure and then so what i do i already said good night to you guys but wanted to show you guys how i make my pie because family is asking for another pie and then i just have a rolling pin and then i kind of give it like a gentle roll just to just to like connect um together and then if it's separated then I kind of squeeze it together like that. And then that's it. So that's the same thing that I'm going to do for this one. And then for my pie, um, blueberry pies, I'm just going to mix this with um, some cornstarch and sugar and cinnamon. And then um, just put a little dab of butter um, onto um, the pie dish. And then I'm going to go ahead and cover it with this. Easy, simple. All right, so we have Miss Danica. So I mix everything in here, and then oh, oh I'm done with your phone, babe. Um, be gentle, my love. Yeah, be gentle. So she's just gonna mix everything, and then we're gonna put the blueberry uh, blueberries onto there. It's gonna coat it. Then we're gonna go ahead and put it into our um, pie dish. <laughs> you can't eat it. Okay, we're gonna mix it with the berries. Okay, let me know when it's all done. What? Nice. So what does this one have? Sugar. Mm-hmm. And another one is um, cinnamon. Cinnamon, that's right. Cinnamon, salt, cornstarch, sugar. Okay. I'm really going to say good night, but I wanted to show you guys my little, like, jungle plants over here section. These are all tropical, like, tropical plants I got ferns in here this one is a Chinese money plant I think it's what it's called all of these are Trader Joe's except for this one and that one everything else is Trader Joe's but before I go upstairs for the night I do miss them if you guys can see that they look like little jungle plants so I think that's why they're really doing so well this one I bought it um, Trader Joe's maybe a month no maybe three weeks ago and as you guys can see, it is starting to have a new uh, leaf right here. And then this one, I've got three new leaves. And I think, I think I have one there too. It, it really is ready to be repotted, but I'm just waiting about another week or two um, so I can uh, propagate some of these leaves. All right, friends, here's my blueberry pie. Thank you guys for stopping by at Simply Simple Life. Mahalo!